I cut my sh um I cut my walk a little short today. I did get in eight miles, but I didn't get in what I had planned to because I decided that I needed a little bit of rest. Uh, I'm not doing great mentally, and I'm, I'm trying to push through it and walk through it and tell myself that it's going to get better if I can actually get through this walk. But it's hard because the moment I started the awareness campaign, they started their own campaign to mentally beat me down and stop me. Um, so I've been trying to redirect my thoughts a little bit by watching this series that I downloaded uh, called Upright with Tim Minchin. And what I thought was going to be something to take my mind off of things turned into something completely different. Because what the show is about is Tim Minchin's character is traveling back home to visit his mother before she passes away. And it's bringing up all of these emotions for me about my own mother's passing, which I still haven't really, um, haven't really accepted or, felt or, or dealt with because everything that was happening at the time and is still happening kind of makes it not real. I don't know if that makes sense. So my mom died last year and I found out about it through people online who don't like me and were blaming me for her death. I found out she was dying through people who don't like me and were demanding to know what I was going to do about it. Um, people interfering themselves into a situation that was extremely personal and, and they didn't even know. And, you know, I, I, I wonder what the, what it would have been like if the public and the cyberbullying community were not involved. Like, if things would have been different if one of my sisters had contacted me and told me that our mother was dying and I was able to make a level-headed decision and, you know, have time to think about things like a person instead of waking up one day and having a troll tell me, hey, your mom's dying, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to let her die? You're killing your mother. You're murdering her. She needs an organ. Give it to her now or she's going to die. And, it, and, then, and then everybody was just attacking me and just constant. These chan all of these other channels were making videos talking about what a monster I was. I was going to let her die. And it was Mother's Day and I was choosing to not give her life and everything. And, and then my aunt visited the grave just after and made a joke out of it. You know, standing in for Adonis Paul with the apple juice and my little brother's grave right there next to it. How is any of this supposed to be real? How is any of this supposed to be my real life? How am I supposed to accept that my mother died and my aunt used it as, a, as an emotional mind game to hurt me? How, and I, I know this is my real life, but at the same time, I am so fucking disconnected from it that... It's going to take years for me to process everything that has happened in the past two years. But I think my mother's passing and everything that happened surrounding it, it, it's going to take a lot of processing. And there are moments when I'm watching this show and I just, I have to stop and kind of break down and start to process something that I'm really not capable of processing. And I don't think I'm going to be able to until this whole cyberbullying situation is over. Because how the fuck do you process anything while you're being attacked 24-7? When you're waking up every day to 20 people telling you to kill yourself. That you're a monster. That you're ugly and fat. And nobody's ever going to love you or forgive you. And look at all of these things that you did over the last 37 years that we want you to be humiliated for. And, and it just... 
constant, you know, so, so much constant emotional attacks. And, and, you know, them just saying, well, if you can't handle it, you shouldn't be online. It's not that easy. It's really not that easy when you have nothing else in your life. I don't have a family or friends or anything when I sign off that is going to make me feel better. That's going to tell me that I'm a human being that deserves dignity and respect and love. That deserves to feed herself. That deserves to be clean. That deserves human kindness and I don't have anybody to tell me these things in real life except for a doctor and a therapist once a month and the other 30 days of the month I'm waking up and being told that I'm absolute nothing by my own family who jokes about getting a hitman to get rid of me because they hate me so much I just wish somebody could understand what all of this is actually doing to me. Maybe by the end of the walk, people will understand. But it's also possible that nobody's ever going to see any of this. That it's all going to remain a complete fantasy. I'm living in a fantasy world. None of this is real, but it is. My mother really did die. My aunt really did go to that grave. All of these things are real, and I'm not allowed to live in the real world because I'm constantly being barraged with fantasticals of you're never going to have, you're never going to, never going to, never going to. You might as well just go ahead and die because life is over for you because these people are never going to allow you to be anything else. When am I allowed to start living again? When am I allowed to start processing everything that has been happening? When am I allowed to be? And I know these channels, they insist that they're just commentary. But they have absolutely controlled my existence. Because when you're contacting my landlord and my therapist and my doctor and my abusive family and you know all of the buttons to push because my abusive family is working with you and telling you where those buttons are. And they installed them. They don't, there is nobody in this world that knows how to hurt me worse than my family does and that's who these people are working with to hurt me how am I ever supposed to be able to escape I mean I escaped my family once I ran away I made it all the way to California and if these channels with their thousands of supporters had not given my abusive family power to come back into my life and abuse me again what could I have been where what where could I have been where could I have taken myself if I had been free from the chains that abusive, narcissistic people lash onto you and drag to keep you down, to keep you from ever getting anything out of life but misery?